let's make honey lemon slices. This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's Homestead. We're gonna can them up. It's gonna be a water bath canning method. I'm gonna wash and slice all of these and then I'll be back with you. The opportunities for this to be used them for is endless. I'm excited. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna slice them in quarter of an inch thickness and stick them in your pot. You're gonna to wanna to cut the ends off, stick those and soak them in some water because we're gonna turn them into zest later. There you go, no waste. I came across a sale on oranges. These have no seeds. If they do have seeds, remove them. Um, and I just couldn't let the sale go without picking up some, but we're not gonna eat these in time. So let's can them up so that we can use them later on for something really yummy. I should be using my meat slicer for this, but I'm not. So we simmered the sliced oranges for about 30 minutes to soften the orange rinds. I have a cat knocking on the window. And now we are going to strain them. And I'm gonna use the pasta maker, the pasta water boiler thing to strain the oranges because you know, it's, it just seems, I wanna save the water. I wanna save the water. I wanna make rice with the water. It just sounds good, orange rice. Before we go any further, this is the book I'm getting the recipe out of, like right there. It's the Ball Blue Book. All my spices, which you're supposed to put in a bag, remind me to buy some bags. Now we mix up the syrup, and then we're gonna combine it all up and can it. It just smells so good in here. Okay, package them up, half inch headspace, pop them in the water bath canner for 10 minutes of boiling. And we're done. I will get back to you with all of the figures in just a moment because this is amazing and the uses are endless. Mm -hmm. Time to wash and talk about how much it costs to make these honey orange slices. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I like, I am really surprised. As always, we are going to put our paperwork up there and watch it fall. We're going to release all of the rings because we do not store with the rings on them. And we're going to test every single one. I'll get right back with you. Oh, and warm up my water. There you go. We'll be right back. Okay, so it comes from this book. We're working out of the Ball Canning Blue Book, and let's get started. So it made 13 half pints. The whole entire batch cost $8.22. That accounts for the oranges that I got on sale um, at our local grocery store, the sugar, the honey, and all of the spices that went into it, and I added a splash of my homemade vanilla. It just makes it amazing. Um, all in all, the whole entire thing was $8.22 for the entire batch. That makes it out to be um, 0 0.08 cents an ounce. These are eight ounces. I looked online, really couldn't find anything that had honey in them. Um, you know, the simple syrups, yeah, but not the honey. And so when I add the honey, and I did find a few, I took the cheapest one, and that makes it $9.49 for a 10 and a half ounce jar. So I divide the 10 and a half ounces into the, to make it eight ounces, and that makes it uh, $7.02 for this jar if I was to purchase it store-bought. And that would make the entire batch $93.06 for the entire 13 of these jars. I paid $8.22. I think we can all just stop and dance at the praises. Wash your jars, people, just to get the gunk and the sticky off of them. And don't forget to label. There you go. Let's talk. How would we use these? Um, I definitely would use these, open up a can and put a layer to make like an orange upside down cake. Oh, that sounds good. Or chop them up and put them in a uh, sweet bread or put them over focaccia bread. Uh, the honey can be drizzled in drinks made into anything. Or you could just take the whole jar, open it up, and put it over a bed of rice with some chicken or baste and cook chicken in it or ham or anything. I mean, it's endless. It's preserved oranges, people, with honey. Mm -hmm. 